Hey guys, it's Aquams. Welcome back to my channel. In this week's video, I have decided to show you all my sketchbooks. And I have way too many. And I'm extremely ashamed because I've never finished a single one. Anyways, I hope you will enjoy watching everything that goes behind the scene. I have included all of my hand-drawn, like, actual sketchbooks. Although I do sketch sometimes on computers, so... Yeah, I can't really include those, but I mainly sketch on paper. It's going to be quite of a long video. I also have an exciting announcement in the end. So yeah, be sure to grab a drink, maybe a snack, relax and enjoy. I'm going to start with this folder that is basically where I kept a lot of older sketches. It ranges from 2010 to 2015. So let's take a look at this. So I'm not going to comment every single sketch because I have a lot to share. Some of those were used in finished artworks and some are just ideas that I may reuse. And if for some reason one of the ideas that I will share is something you would like to see a complete artwork from, then just tell me in the comment section with like the time mark in the video so I can go back into the video and actually see if there's a lot of people really requesting one of the sketch to be a complete artwork, then I will do it. This is a fairy artwork that I did a couple years ago. Um, actually wanted to do a commission out of this but the customer changed his mind so it wasn't like it wasn't a problem with me I haven't really used the design itself again but maybe I will do it so I have this girl yes like I said I need to practice anatomy because this is really bad <laughs> this one is one of the sketching video that I have made on my channel a few years ago if you'd like to see it I will link it in the corner we have a bride little artwork I have like some character design. This is from my Alicia artwork that I did with Copic markers. I will also link it. There's like some landscape thing, faces, poses. This has a lot of random stuff. Some like graphic design stuff. Uh, little doodles of uh, characters. <laughs> this is kind of fun. This was done a long time ago in high school. I used to sketch in a corner of my like notepads or school pad whatever like writing my lessons and this was in a book um of like geography i don't even remember like exercise book and in the corner of the chapter i used to do little doodles of animals and i really liked the cat like this is a very cartoony style and i haven't done that in a really long time i should probably just go back to drawing animals because i really like i really love animals this is a design that I did uh, for a horoscope series that I've actually never completed. We have a character um, that I wanted her to be like a very, almost like a lost girl covered in like either goldish, bloody stains. I don't know. This is kind of weird, but yeah, I really like this type of character. We have this outfit that I did for the uh, how to shade with black and white, like how to shade with pencil. This is the little doodle that I did for her. And like more character, like I was a lot into manga art, more like manga-ish. We have like a lot of little ideas. I like to sketch in a very small like this and do a lot of them because I have my first idea then I can work on it after if I want to. Um, I think I've used this one, but that's the only one I've used so far in this. There's a lot of old doodles and mostly uh, female characters like this one I like also. We have a lot of like the fairies and like a little cat. I really like this one. Nelian. I think I've used this idea for my Atlantis picture. Then more like a little character design. This is uh, Mira. No, Mika, and she's 10 years old, and I really wanted to do a complete, like, storyline with her, but I've kind of branched out of my manga-ish, manga cute style, but um, maybe I will get back to, to this at some point, we'll see. Like, poses, like I said, my anatomy skills are pretty, pretty bad. This, like, angel, this is the sketch for my Shadow's Daughter Copic Marker artwork. We'll also link that if you would like to see how I color this. This one is my, uh, I think it's my Masquerade artwork. I'm not sure if I did a complete speed paint of that, but I have this here. I keep a lot of the sketches. Girls, more like chibi art. This one also is gonna be, like, there's more a like, character, practicing character. We have a portrait, the pencil. My flamenco sketch, free marker challenge, kitty theme artwork. This is labeled as my 2016 sketchbook goals. 
and you have sketches that I did for the uh, YouTube Artist Collective, I think it's the second theme, that was the mythical creature. I did Lucosia. I will also link it if you'd like to see. I really like this one because they're in love. I really like this one too. And I couldn't use that for my mermaid series too. This is the artwork that I did for my Instagram uh, when I reached basically 3,000 followers. And I'm at 16,000 now. And that's it. <laughs> I'm like, this is completely empty. I'm guilty of not sketching enough. Let's take a look at this one. So this is a pink, a canson, don't really see. It's a canson sketch. I have a lot of those, kind of like little sketch pad. And this is kind of old, but I have a lot of the um, sketches that I did, I think at least six or seven years ago. And I was using my pit artist pen, like brush pens. And I did this. So I have like this angel, this character that I really like more like um, I guess just like random characters, magical girl, then I have like this fairy girl. I branched out, kinda, <laughs> tried to draw um, like fi just fishes and I'm really bad at this, need to practice. Then more characters, I've reused this for like a bookmark design. Then we have like more fairy stuff, this like, I really like also this one, this is um, Probably going to be a finished piece at some point, but I'm not really there yet. This was actually the sketch for my art book cover, Naturalis Flora. Uh, if you'd like to see my art book, I have about, I think, like 30 copies left. So I will also answer the link in the description so you can check it out. We have more fairy design. I've used this for like a moleskin cover artwork. I really like this little girl too. Let's see into this one. I have a character here, painting, I've used acrylics here. This is a portrait of a famous Canadian singer. Can you recognize her or am I really bad at, <laughs> at drawing portraits? We have like more little doodles. Like I really like this color scheme. This is one thing that I really want to try to is just branch out from like skin colors. Try new things, you know? And this is at a time where I kind of fell in love with coloring and using different colors to shade as well. Testing out pastels and a little like manga girl. Like I should probably finish my sketchbook sometimes. So let's just take a look at my Inktober challenge from 2016. So this is day one and if you'd like to see the actual like sketching process I will also link the videos I have I believe I made a video for each week, so I have four videos for my Inktober. I will link the playlist somewhere and you can check it out. So I mainly just sketched out characters using my black, I think I've used a Tombow marker, like black watercolor, and also grays to like kind of smear everything. I have this one. This I've used for a complete design that I did also as a Patreon video. I tried to draw a guy and I failed. <laughs> And then more girls, I've used this one also for an artwork. This I've never used, but I, it's okay. Like You don't have to actually use all the designs you are doing in your sketchbooks. It's just a way to practice, so I don't really mind. I have a portrait, like an angel. I have more fairy stuff and more fairies. And then I really like this character too. Like, it's kind of like a warrior kind of character. This is different from what I usually do. Then I have on this page my day 15, and for once I actually drew a guy. Then I have a portrait. I'm still like, I'm so bad at drawing guys. I need to practice. And like another mermaid. More complex artwork. I really like this idea and this one too. At some point I think I'm going to reuse some of those. Like more portraits, like a little fairy and their flower. We like this one. I will definitely make a Copic artwork with this. I was like trying to draw a fairy nest of some sort. Like more little portraits like with animals. I also want to uh, incorporate more animals in my artworks. Go with a balloon. And I really like this one too. More portrait. And like I've used reference for those two. I think I've used I don't think I've used a reference for the other ones, but those two have used like photos from a magazine. This and this as well. In the last one of my Inktober was this fairy. Then we have like a little character. 
I really also feel like I have to draw more full portrait, like full view characters because I, I, I do a lot of portraits <laughs> and more like poses, just like practicing. I have like this as a bookmark design, more like portraits, girls like lost in her thoughts, I have like some magician of some sort. Then this one is my last sketching video. This one I've used Inktense pencils. And this is the one I'm working right now. I based this on a girl that I saw in public transport. She was so cute. And like long, really, really long curly hair. And a pretty, like very angled face. Just she was so beautiful. So this is the last one in this. So this one is pretty filled. Yeah, I filled actually half of it, so. Pretty good. Let's just take a look at this one. I only did two pages. <laughs> so lame. The reason why I don't like to sketch with pencils is because when I carry this around, it's kind of smudging everywhere. I really like this because it's really thick paper. Then I have one that I really like, uh, that I also want to do a complete artwork with it. I have just like practicing with flower design. Then we have this one, which I love. I have this one. It's like just with pencils. We have this blue character, like the warrior. I did a sketching video with this. I have more like mermaid, practicing anatomy, trying to just do things a bit differently. Like noses, little characters, faces. Then I want like writing stuff for the mermaids of the world. This is my beautiful nightmare sketch that I did for the YouTube Artist Collective. This one is a sketch for my Nemesis artwork. Then we have actually a lot of the sketches that I already did for the Mermaids of the World. They may change because I'm not sure I will keep the oval shape. It will not really work well when I make the art book because I will have a lot of black, like blank space around it. So I'm not sure. I wrote down the country, I guess, but I'm not going to follow that. Um, I'm actually going to work more towards picking oceans and seas and lakes so they are actually from the underwater not a country you know here we have the mad witch uh youtube artist collective i think it was for the wicked wonderland theme this is the sketch that i did I have more faces trying to change a bit of my style practicing the eye shape I have this girl that I really like i think i'm going to do a come like a copy marker artwork with this like a little bride a little doodle that I did with a ballpoint pen. Then this portrait of a like a tribal kind of girl. This that I kind of like. I was trying. This is when I got back to drawing after a very long break, and I'm trying to change the f the way I draw faces. But it's pretty hard to. I want to have a bit more emotions I suppose and not just do like pretty cute girl with the same face shape and the same emotion all the time but it's kind of hard to branch out I have this one I did this three or four months ago and I did uh, with pen and a copy marker I also want to work more towards meditation zen oriented artwork like really peaceful and clean I don't know but um, this is like one of the idea that I had this is a sketch that I did for a painting that I still have to edit. <laughs> I actually recorded myself painting this character, so I will get to that eventually. It's a very, very long video, so not there yet. I have this little character. I also want to do a copy marker artwork with it. Then I actually wrote down a couple things for like notebook designs. Then I practiced cherry blossoms and colored pencils. That's the end of this one. And then the last one is actually this. This is a Strathmore tone. This is a tone paper. And I wanted to try this paper for a long time. I also got the gray one, but I haven't sketched in it yet. And so this is the first sketch that I did into this paper pad. It's more like a detailed sketch. I've used uh, like my cold erase pencils and my luminance pencils. I use also a bit of Copic markers just to shade the background. I like it. The thing is though, I'm always struggling with sketching is that I don't really feel comfortable just doing a random like 10 minute sketch. I always have to put a lot more effort and a lot of a lot of work into even a sketch. I actually spent like two hours on this and I think it's still a bit too much for a sketch. I really want to work more and challenge myself to do like 10 minutes, 30 minute sketch to really get into the 
the flow and it's okay if it looks I guess bad it's just practicing and then I can maybe use those 30 minute sketch to make a complete artwork and actually spend the time to shade and color this artwork instead of just doing a detailed sketch. The second and actually the last artwork that I did was this one. It's also a detailed sketch but I actually worked a lot faster. I think I spent about an hour on this one and I've used some reference work from like K-pop idols and fashion and I really like the character. I've used a copy marker to, for the base of the skin and then I shade it with my pencils. And that's it. That's actually the last sketch that I've completed. I personally think that I could be a better artist if I forced myself to sketch a bit more and to actually finish a sketchbook. I really like the fact that I got a toned paper sketchbook because it actually makes me want to draw more. Speaking of sketches, I actually have my very first sketches collection mini art book available. I only got 30 made, so it's a pretty very limited edition. This is how it looks and this is the back and yeah, I actually most of the sketches that you just saw, um, they are in this little sketchbook. Like this character they showed, um, like sort of the beautiful nightmare, like most of the YouTube artist collective sketches are here and like combined pages. I also have included some of the digital sketch because I do sketch sometimes on computer. Then we have like this one from the Inktober, this one also. So this is my sketches collection 2017 and if you'd like to get it then check the description below or click on the in the corner I will have a link to my Etsy store so if you'd like to get it then check it out. And that basically will be it for the video. If you like it, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it so everyone can see it. If you have any suggestions for future videos, then pop a comment below and tell me. I will gladly read everything and pick an idea from what you guys really want to see from me. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye!